Welcome to the latest Hydra in a Box project update where I'll be showing you a demo of some of the recent progress made during the project. It's been a while since the last demo, sorry about that. We've been a bit busy with travel, but here we go. So the first thing I wanted to talk to you about is the progress we've been making on the mediated deposit workflow. That work is ongoing and there's a dedicated team being coordinated by Steve Van Tile at Oregon State and they're doing great. They're doing all the necessary underlying work to support workflows in curation concerns and up through Sufia. This work is based on a, an application that was developed at Notre Dame called Sipity and it represents a robust workflow engine and we're using that for mediated deposit so I don't I can't show you that today but I believe the mediated deposit workflow team will be producing their own demo in short order and you'll get to see it working there first thing I want to mention about the work that we've been doing is as we've been thinking about how to make it easy for folks to maintain Hydra in a box locally we have recently produced a Docker Compose configuration for running the entire stack in a multi-host configuration. So if you've got Docker installed, then you can launch the Lerna application by using docker compose up-d. So folks who have Docker already installed, we would welcome you to run through and test this for us. That would be very helpful. Okay. Without further ado, I want to demo some things. The first thing I want to show you is a set of updates to the administrative user interface. For those of you who've been following these for a while, you'll remember a couple demos ago I showed a mock-up of the administrative UI that we're working towards and some of the early progress we've made towards that mock-up. Now, we've made some pretty significant changes over the past week, and we've done that because the, the the existing work was a little bit out of alignment with what Sufia already shipped, which is underlying Lerna, and so it was a bit jarring to switch between the administrative context and the user context because this entire top bar that says administration dashboard works collections would go away. And so now what we have, if you click on administration, is you'll see the same top bar, nothing changed. And you'll also notice on the left hand side the widgets over here are just vanilla bootstrap now. They're not using custom classes or any custom um, IDs. So this is all just bootstrap, uh, vanilla bootstrap right now. Okay, so we'll continue making tweaks to the administrative UI. So keep an eye out for those changes coming soon. The next thing I wanted to show is how you can configure the about page. So when you go to the home page and you click on about you get an empty page. Sad. So to make that change, change you go to the content blocks page and then you scroll down all the way down to the bottom and at this point you can write some text. This is a WYSIWYG box so what you see is what you get. So I'm going to type a message, I'm going to format the header, then I'm going to say, I'm going to format that as a block quote, okay, and I'll save it. Great, the site was successfully updated, when I go back, there's my about page. So you can now customize this dynamically uh, to make sure that your about page does what you want it to do. All right, and the last feature I want to show you, this is a work in progress, so we'll see how this goes. But um, there were, um, for those of you who were able to attend Hydra Connect, uh, Alberto Martinez from, the, uh, from El Colegio de Mexico gave a, a really compelling keynote. And one of his messages to the Hydra community was that we could really stand to improve with internationalization and in particular this message resonated for those of us working on the Hydra in a Box project and we immediately started doing the underlying work to figure out how to do better language switching between English and Spanish in particular 
and we can expand this to other languages in the future. So again, this is a work in progress, but what you see here, let me refresh the page, my emojis are not showing up properly in my browser, that's my my fault, not, not the application's fault. You'll now see a Spanish flag, and when I click the Spanish flag, you'll see the entire UI is now translated into Spanish. Now, like I said, this is a work in progress. Some of these labels may not be right, and I'm sure there are areas where we haven't gotten them, but if you notice, if you click links, click around, you'll see that a large portion of the labels in the site are already translated. So we're working with some folks in the community who are native Spanish language speakers to help us get these right, and we hope to have this work merged in the coming weeks so that we can have broader support for Spanish and start adding support for other languages as well. Switch back to English so I can read it. Okay, great. So that's it for the demo this week. I just want to mention two things before I go. One is that we're currently starting to, we're, we're wrapping up the work on administrative sets and in particular we are doing some work on what used to be called APOs or admin policy objects and now we're calling them permission templates so the notion here is that when you create an administrative set I can click over and see what this does uh, when you're creating an administrative set here's the metadata um, what you don't see here is the permissions template and the notion here is that for an administrative set you can give it a permissions template and what that means is for every work deposited into that administrative set it will pick up some permissions from its administrative set so we've got some mock-ups on that and we've got some work started on it and we'll endeavor to get that in front of you very soon this will enable you to have greater control over the content going into your repository and to organize it into admin sets and then the other thing I wanted to mention is some of the work that we are now doing in Sufia to add different kinds of work types. And so you'll notice over here in the dashboard there's this really weird artifact where you're seeing create work twice. The reason why you're seeing that is because we've just started adding support for generating multiple work types, which we hope is going to go into Sufia 7.3.0. So again, this work is early on, and there's some UI polish to add to make Sufia's UI aware that there are multiple work types. But we're working on this in earnest, and the second work type we're hoping to build into the Hydra in a Box application, or Lerna, is uh, the image work type. So with that said, we'll look to show more of this to you soon. I believe the next demo is slated to come out in just a week and a half or so. So until then, thanks for following along.